Why? Subscribe to the Books on Toast channel or popcorn will become more expensive. And the only flavor available in theaters will be caramel. What is that? You like caramel popcorn? That's okay. I'm not judging you. Not at, not at all. Not even a little bit. I'm not imagining beating you to death with a stale samosa at all. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode on the Books on Toast channel. Today we are doing something interesting and different. What we did is read a book a while ago and then we realized a movie is coming out about it. I'm like, what? No. The book is called Mortal Engines. Uh, Mortal Engines is a steampunk action, post-apocalyptic action adventure series of novels that came out in 2001. And Mortal Engines is the first book in the series. Um, it's now being adapted by Peter Jackson mm -hmm. for screen. Correct. Yeah. The creator of the fabulous Lord of the Rings trilogy comes yet another adaptation of a book. That okay. we hope <laughs> is going to be amazing. So what is Mortal Engines about? What happens in this world is giant cities on wheels, and here we're talking about the city of London, go around eating other smaller cities and towns. Yeah, they're literally... Cities devour cities. The reason why the cities are now on wheels is because of a 60 minute war that happened thousands of years ago. Hundreds! Yeah, which basically destroyed humanity and now this is what it has come to. Mm -hmm. This phenomenon in the book is known as Municipal Darwinism. London is the biggest predator city in the world and what it's doing is colonizing the world. I wonder when that happened before. There is a new social order that is now running this city and there are historians and engineers and navigators and scavengers. Our hero is a boy named Tom Natsworthy whom I shall refer to as Tom Natsworthy because he doesn't have enough nuts so I'm giving them to him because I really want him to grow a spine. Tom Natsworthy is a 15 year old boy who gets caught up in a situation that he didn't anticipate when he prevents the murder of a man named Thaddeus Valentine at the hands of our protagonist Hester Shaw. Will you be my valentine? No. Hester Shaw is a girl, she's a mysterious girl, who's lost her family at the hands of Thaddeus Valentine and is thirsting for revenge. Yeah, that's where she meets, she meets Tom when her city gets ingested by London. Now, let's watch the trailer and review it from the reader's perspective. <laughs> From the makers of Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. she was going to do that. Comes binocular. Okay, so the first thing that I thought when I saw the trailer is like, Wild Wild West got a sequel? Uh. So it feels like a, a younger version of Mad Max. Yeah, Fury Road. And then you watch like cities being eaten and all of that. The premise, the world is set. Yeah. Giant jaws yeah. come out and, and then Missy has to show. And this character whose face is masked. And she's just like looking at things. And then we meet Hester Shaw. Oh, now, there's a knife. There he is, oh. Tom Natsurdi. Okay, now I have a bone to pick, just as fans of Mortal Engines have had this bone to pick with the film depiction of Hester Shaw. Now in the book, Hester Shaw doesn't have an eye, mm -hmm. has lost her nose, and has her scar, her, a jagged scar running across her face, which makes her ugly. And the author, Philip Reeve, has gone out of his way to explain to the readers that Hester is an ugly girl. And the point of him doing that was, I am tired of watching heroines in mm. books who are hot. Let's have some fun. Let's make mm. her permanently scarred. And let's make the lead character slowly fall in mm. love with her anyway. And mm. that was a great point to make. Mm -hmm. However, because this is the visual format, mm -hmm. Hester's scar is, is a little artful. It's like, um, yes, it's it's like a river. Uh, yeah. Like makeup scar that's Correct. running across her I face mean, and her I, eyes are there. And she has both her nose and her eye. Why have mm -hmm. you done that, dude? The character of Hester is played by this Icelandic uh, actress called Hera Hilmer. Hera Hilmer. 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 <laughs> she's and cute. She's cute. And Thaddeus <laughs> Valentine is played by Hugo Weaving. Now, ah. Hugo Weaving has historically played a lot of negative characters. So, so there's already a twist in the tale in the trailer in 50 seconds in where the villain... It has been stabbed by the heroine. So now the movie's over. Except he escapes because of Tom Nutsworthy. Now you see why I call him Tom Nutsworthy, right? Hey, somebody had to keep the story going. <laughs> <laughs> and both of them end up in the shoot. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. kids. So then there is this whole, uh, you know, beginning of uh, an adventure where both Hester and Tom try to get back to London so that Hester can finally avenge her mother's death by killing Valentine. They meet 
a lady wearing a red jacket mm. ha- with a matching airplane. I have heard about matching your shoes to your bag, but this is completely new. Uh, yeah. Her name is Anna Fang and she's sort of like the guide mentor character who takes our hero and heroine and helps them on their journey. The pace of the trailer is quite manic. They pack a lot in, which mimics the pace of the book because it is quite manic. You're feeling like, oh my God, so many things are happening. Even though some of the low points and the high points in the book seem to be predictable, it's still a fun read. And it is visually spectacular. Like yeah. the whole trailer is stunning. I realized that the trailer visually has actually gone beyond my imagination. Oh, like really? it has done more, it has bolstered it and it has oh. helped me realize things that I wouldn't understand. For example, like giant cities with those huge wheels or somehow yeah, like yeah, yeah. hard, it's, an alien. it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. yeah but yeah. then when you watch the trailer, you're like, okay, wow, this is, they've really done justice. Yeah. to the world that was created by Philip Reeve mm-hmm. and for that we, we have to give them points. So I guess uh, the fact that Christopher Rivers who's a visualizer is directing the movie, he's clearly put in a lot of effort to make this a visual spectacle. Yeah, what she said. Spectacle. <laughs> Trailer number two introduces us to the backstory of Hester. Hester was the daughter of this woman named Pandora and uh, she somehow knew Thaddeus Valentine and Thaddeus Valentine actually came to her house and stole something called an ancient weapon and uh, killed Pandora and left Hester as good as dead, which is the story behind the scar. Trailer 2 also introduces us to something that is very heavily inspired from Doctor Who and in the book he says that when they were kids they used to pretend play with these monsters and these monsters say exterminate, exterminate. Mm. And that Stop is it. characteristic of a Doctor Who villain named the Dalek. And Daleks are people mm-hmm. turned into uh, high-tech weapons. Daleks and Cybermen, the two most classic villains of Doctor Who. Cyborgs, basically. Cyborgs, yes. Mm-hmm. And, and in this book, that version, these cyborgs are called stalkers. And they used to be men. And mm-hmm. there was one particular stalker who was after Tom Nutsworthy and Hester Shaw. And his name is Shrike. And visually, as they show in the theater, he is just as as scary and as weird steampunky as I expected him to be. Mm-hmm. So I am excited to watch Shrike, mm-hmm. very much so. And we hope that if you're a reader watching the trailer, you are too. So Anu and I have only read the first book in the series. If you guys have read the book or more books in the series, tell us what you think that how the book stacks up to the trailer and what you think that you know the movie will be about. So watch the movie with us, share this video, comment on this video, like like this video and also subscribe to Books on Toast because how else will you tell the world that you are a smartan? Bye.